Hi, I'm Jules and today I'm going to make some really super easy OT cookies. Um, I've got my little mate Buds here who's going to help me. We've made this a lot of times so it should all run quite smoothly. There's lots of oats and fruit and seeds and they're really delicious and they're very quick to make. I actually use them as a treat, which is actually no big deal, but for them it's massive. This could actually make 24 cookies. You could simply freeze it and then when you need it, you can slice straight from frozen. It's so good when you've got people coming around for tea and it's quite impressive. So we'll start. We're going to do 250 grams of porridge oats. Right, I'm going to pour that into the big bowl for me. Nice. Then we're going to do 100 grams of wholemeal plain flour into there. We do half a little teaspoon of bicarb of soda just to give it a bit of air. That's what my husband says. We've got one teaspoon of mixed spice. I mean, you could use ginger or cinnamon. It's really tasty. Do you want to do it? I'm going to do like a handful of raisins, but you could use apricots or cranberries or a kind of any dry fruit you like, but I know my children love raisins. Oh, there you go. And then finally, just some of the mixed seeds, which is kind of pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. We're just going to do like a tablespoon of those. Ready, buds? And you are going to do the big job of mixing it. Hey. So mix all your dry ingredients together. Can you smell it? What does it smell I like of? It. You like it? We make these cookies probably maybe once a week. Um, and if it's a really special occasion, then maybe the odd chocolate chip in there. And the children can help, even if they do a bit of that. They feel like they've made it. They feel, you know, they just feel like it's important. They feel like it's their creation. And then they can show dad and he's super impressed. And then, uh, yeah, so everyone is happy. Okay, so we're going to move on to our wet ingredients now. So we're going to do 100 grams of butter first. Yeah. Now I need 50 grams of this soft brown sugar. This is the sugar that makes the cookies really gooey and nice and soft. Done? Yeah. Yeah, done, done, perfect. So that's the soft brown sugar buds. So we're going to do the golden caster sugar. This makes it more crunchy than the soft brown. It's nice for the cookies. Pull that into there. Yeah. Yeah. In the butter? No. <laughs> right, you crack an egg in there, and then that is nearly all done. Done, amazing. Just put that in there, sorry. Right. And we're just going to whisk this really quickly with a little wooden spoon. Be careful. This is the bit he likes best. <laughs> That's it. Brilliant. Tired? It's quite good for my arms. If I just... You could just use a hand blender to be super quick. So this is about the consistency, I think. It took just a couple of minutes. It's about like that, so you can see. I'm going to combine this with all the but dry ingredients. Idle, idle, yeah, you do. Idle. I need to get, just wait, I need I to get everything out. I want to use a spatula. Can I use a spatula? Yes, yes, Jamie. <laughs> Good. Mommy. There you go. Brilliant, well done, excellent. Should you make the balls? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just mixing the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients to make kind of a, like a dough. Cool. I need to wash my hands. Right. Ready? So, we're almost ready. We've got the tray here, just a normal baking tray. I'm just going to put some baking paper on there. I'm going to make the little balls about, you need to make them most of like a walnut size, about that size and just arrange them not too close, so I, I assume they're just going to merge together if I do that, when they start baking. If you get all the kids involved, this will be done really quickly. And this is the bit generally they normally really love. Obviously Buddy's decided he didn't like this bit anymore. And he's hiding. So I can fit 12 in this tray. So that's my 12 done. And then you simply just squash down. Buzz, you want to squash down with me? Uh, no, okay, fine. To make the cookie shapes, but as this could actually make 24 cookies, with anything left over, you could do, um, which is what I do, is I roll it into like a big fat sausage, which is really quite fun, lay it onto some baking paper, roll it up and simply freeze it. Actually, Buzz, will you go and get my sausage snake from the freezer, please? The big job, and I can show you how I actually did do it. I did this the other day. That, not that snake, the other snake. <laughs> Brilliant. Bring, yeah, bring the two out, mate. I'm going to cook these ones to show you how you can do them from frozen. So this one's actually slightly different. So we've got some cranberries in there. What else, Buzz? Apricots. So this one we, no we made this the other day, didn't we? No, no apricots. Okay. But this is so good when you've got people coming around for tea. 
and it's quite impressive. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the oven now. So probably I'm going to put the frozen ones on the top shelf and then that, they have a bit longer to cook, probably about two or three minutes. 180 or 350 Fahrenheit for about eight to 10 minutes until kind of golden brown. Right, they're done. Do you like the smell? Delish. So these are the frozen ones. You can see they're slightly flatter because obviously we cut those, but these are more rustic. These are the ones me and Buds did. So we're going to leave them to cool for about 10 minutes. Then once they're cool, put them in an airtight container and they should last about a week, although they've been so quick. So these are really soft still, so I'll just show you. They're not soft. They are. Do you like them? So they're really chewy. Nice. I'm quite impressed. I'm going to have a bit. What do you reckon, Buzz? They're really soft and actually definitely try and eat them if you can when they're this temperature. Yeah, there you go. That's my super easy OT cookies. Really hope you enjoyed it and then please let us know. Thank you so much.